Welcome, my name is Susan, I'm part of the husbandry team here at the aquarium. I'm going to introduce Dominic, who is walking out with our other animal. The reason being is that if we waited for this animal to walk out, we'd be here for a really long time. So, again, this is Dominic, that's a California desert tortoise. And then the animals I'm going to talk about first is hanging up here and doing some eating. And this is called a Virginia opossum. Now, I say opossum because there is another animal on this planet called a possum. It lives in Australia, though, where this particular Virginia opossum lives right here in the United States. And it's unusual because it's the only marsupial in North America, meaning it has a pouch. So this guy is actually more closely related to koalas and kangaroos than he is to rats and rodents. Now, this particular guy, well, they eat everything. So fruit, vegetables, meat items, you name it, they're going to eat it. And here at the aquarium, we feed them a wide variety of fruits and vegetables and meat items to try to kind of hit all the different things they eat out in nature. Now, how many of you guys have seen this animal around your homes before? All right, a lot of you guys have. I have too. Um, these guys are nocturnal, so they're usually around your house at night, and of course they're looking for food, which you'll usually find in your garbage cans or your trash cans. So that's why we recommend putting the lids on your trash cans. Hopefully they won't get into there, all right? The thing is, is, even if they don't get into your trash cans, there's other things around your house that they're going to eat, which I think is a good thing, because they will eat mice. They will eat crickets. They will eat beetles, they'll eat worms, they'll eat grubs, they'll eat snails, they'll eat cockroaches. Yay! All right. They'll eat all those things around your house. They're natural pest control. So they eat all those things. Now along with those things, they'll also eat ticks. They're a small mammal, just like your dog. So they're going to get ticks on them, just like your dog is. Except they can pick off the ticks off their body without the help of a human and a pair of tweezers. What they do is they have these really amazing hands. And he may pick up a piece of food and put it in his mouth or help put it into his mouth. Um, but their hands do this. They're really cool. So they're not like dog or cat paws. They actually move and fluctuate and flex. So with those, he can pull it himself as he goes to his fur. And along with his teeth, he can pick the ticks off his body. And with that, he eats about 95% of the ticks that he picks off, which equates to about 5,000 ticks per opossum per season. That is 5,000 ticks that one opossum is eating that is now not on your dog, your cat, you, your kid, human, anything. He ate them. He's also a great eater of the black-legged ticks, which carry Lyme disease. So for those who know what Lyme disease is, he eats those ticks. All right. So not only is he helping your dog with the tick population, but he's also helping us to help lower, because it has exploded just recently, the Lyme disease population. 